what's up you checking out the frequent flyer and i'm out here with the hubson h501a now i'm just sitting out here waiting for this thing to acquire gps but i just wanted to show you guys a few things about this thing here for those of you who didn't know the biggest difference is that this one actually does wi-fi fpv whereas the H501S and the H501SS does 5.8 gigahertz FPV only. And so this one here is unique in that it does that Wi-Fi FPV. And I saw a lot of uh, reviewers do reviews on this thing and the results weren't too good. A lot of times as far as the FPV signal, it freezes up and all when you get a far distance away from yourself and all and it did come with this little wi-fi extender piece and that wi-fi extender was supposed to make you have a longer range and it did for the most part give you a longer range but still nowhere near as long of a range as using 5.8 gigahertz fpv with the h501s this thing does 5.8 gigahertz fpv as well a lot of people, um, when I say that, they don't believe it or they ask me if I'm sure and everything. I'm definitely sure about that. I've had this thing for a while and I do connect it to my advanced transmitter. This is the Hubson advanced transmitter here. I have it around my neck on the lanyard. So it's kind of hard, difficult for me to show you guys this thing, but it is connected using Wi-Fi, I'm sorry, using 5.8 gigahertz FPV, this thing does both. So those of you who think that the 501S and the double S is better than the 501A, uh, not quite. This thing is actually, uh, all of them combined, it seems like this one does it all, but this doesn't come with the advanced transmitter. You have to already have it or you have to purchase it separately. And so I have, I happen to have two of the advanced transmitters. Uh, one of my, one of my uh, viewers actually commented and alerted me that Gearbest was having a, a flash sale for the H501S advanced version. That's the version. That's the version that comes with this transmitter that I have, and it was only 88 bucks, guys. And so I couldn't hold off from getting that I just got it immediately as soon as I saw it and it seems like maybe the next day or two days later the cell was off it was really quick so you had to be quick on that congratulations to those guys who did get themselves a the h501s really awesome bird if you ask me it's one of the best that does GPS and uh, FPV 5.8 gigahertz but you're probably wondering what's the advantages of flying it with this well for one like i said it does 5.8 gigahertz fpv and you get further range with it and less latency as well you can still record and all of that stuff it does all of the things that the h501 s and double s does and so this is all around a better bird it does everything that those quads do and it does the wi-fi fpv as well so if you happen to just have your phone out, you can actually fly this thing with just your phone or you can fly it with just that little uh, Wi-Fi extender thing and your phone. And so pretty awesome. But another advantage of hooking it up to this advanced transmitter is that you can actually fly this thing in manual mode. And what that is, is it takes away the altitude hold. So... This is one of the few birds that allow you to take off the altitude hold. Well, the sports flyer that I have, the the uh, Aiton, the Traxxas Aiton does that as well. It allows you to uh, take off the altitude hold and GPS and all of that stuff. So yeah, with this thing, you can turn off the GPS and altitude hold as well and just fly it in manual mode. And this advanced transmitter allow you to remove the self-centering throttle off the stick so you have to open it up and do that there's a little screw that you I think you tighten it and it takes the spring off of it 
And so you can fly this like a normal quad in expert and manual mode. So let's get this thing up in the air. And so I have 11 satellites on the quad and only six on the transmitter because I had it between myself and the sky. And so let's take off with it though. And yes, you still can fly it um, when there's no GPS uh, satellites acquired and all. You just have to go into the menu and do it. Right now, I just have it on altitude hold, expert mode. So check it out. Just flying it around in GPS mode. Well, altitude hold mode, and I'm gonna switch it in GPS mode now. So it's in GPS mode. Just doing that to show you guys that you still can fly it with the stick like this, um, with the self-center and throttle removed. You just have to get it perfect, try to get it lined up perfectly in the middle. Cars constantly go back here and they're not supposed to. But let's see, so it's locked on here. Let's move out of the way. This person is trying to turn. Pick it up a little higher. Okay, so here we're in GPS hold. So check it out, it's holding its position. So check it out. GPS mode holds its position really well. And let's grab it and pull it. Trying to go back to the position that it was at. So it remembers the coordinates that you stopped it at and it goes right back to that position. No toilet bowl or anything. This is awesome GPS lock with this thing. Check it out. See the DJI Phantom, all the DJI quads, they actually cheat. <laughs> They got optical flow and they have a camera facing down at the ground that actually takes pictures in order to keep them in one spot in addition to using the GPS. But let's land this thing. Okay, so. I don't know why it's beeping. transmitter is beeping but anyhow let's put this thing in manual mode so if you hold down I gotta take this off and show you guys this so if you hold down the enter button I don't know if you guys can see the screen here but it takes you to this menu here and then you can just hit the down button until you get to manual mode I passed it there and go down one and then you hit enter so now we're in manual mode so then you just hold the exit button and so now it should take off like a normal quadcopter with this one if you don't take it in the air once you start the props to spinning It'll turn off after a couple seconds. And so I'm flying this like a normal quadcopter now. Check it out. I 
I wish the yaw was a little faster. This is deviated. You can fly it with deviation as well. I don't know if that makes the yaw faster. I can't remember. But this is the mode that you have it in in order to do manual flips. You can actually do manual flips with this. You just take it up in the air and pitch really hard to one side or to the front and then you cut throttle completely and pull back at the same time and it'll do the flip. I'm not gonna do it here because of <laughs> the area that I'm flying in. But it's the same way as any traditional quadcopter that doesn't have altitude hold. So let's look at the screen here and see what we got. Oh, if you have it in manual mode like this, you can also just flick the GPS switch and it'll go right back in GPS mode. So we're in GPS mode again. Check it out. Bring it up a little bit. And this transmit, oh, I think the transmit is beeping because the battery is low. Yeah, that's what it is. The battery is low. It's saying 6.8 volts. So I guess that's all we're going to do for today. For this video, anyhow, let me land it. And so that's it, a quick flight demo of this Hubson H501A in demonstration with this Hubson Advanced Transmitter. It does do 5.8 gigahertz FPV and you can put it in manual mode with this transmitter. Pretty awesome little bird. Thanks for watching.